everybody, this is Praxis. It's getting towards mid-afternoon today and things are going reasonably well. Uh, Amber's here doing more boards. You can see over here uh, to your left we've got a stack of them over by a bunch of metal extrusion stuff that's going to be for the greenhouse roof and Amber's got new ones that are uh, getting painted up over here. She's just trying to stay ahead of me and I'm trying to race to catch up with her. Uh, what I've been working on today is uh, getting foam on the last uh, unfoamed wall of the house and it's going pretty well. I've got everything done all the way up to here. There's just like maybe one and a half square feet of foam in here uh, that I, uh, you know, I need to finish up with. And I've been able to make really, really effective use of a bunch of the scrap material that I've had. And that feels really nice uh, to do because, uh, you know, I tried to be pretty close about the amount of uh, foam that I would have uh, here on site because uh, while it's great to have extra screws when you're done, extra nails when you're done, uh, even like extra lumber when you're done. Uh, spray foam, or not spray foam, foam panels take up a lot of room and uh, you know they get eaten up by mice and stuff if you just kind of leave them out. So I did, I, I wanted to cut it pretty close on how much uh, foam I had and at this point I just have three sheets left and th those are going to be useful on some of the interior surfaces of the entryway. There's going to be kind of insulation above, uh, behind and around. We're going to be pretty close so I'm pretty happy about those estimates. Uh, this uh, board is going to be on the bottom right over here. I'm just about to put this up. Uh, goes in just like that. Uh, and I'm getting to the, uh, the bottom of uh, this kind of stuff that we have too, but it's going pretty well. The electrician is here today and he is finishing up all the complicated stuff, GFCIs. I found out something I want to share with you guys, uh, at least here in this state, uh, all in, in residential construction, you need to have all of your uh, power receptacles be all um, uh, TR, tamper resistant for like child safety and stuff. I didn't know that. I happened to buy uh, pretty much almost all of them as that anyway. Uh, but I learned that today, and I want to share that with you guys. At least in my specific area, that's the way you have to do it. Uh, so I'm going to see if I can finish this up today, and then tomorrow it's going to be wallboards, and then after that we get some rain. That's it. Thanks for watching.